strong. Look at you. I just really love to play golf. It's a great, you know, escape outside of the, the chaos of what football is, but still being able to be competitive. Wow, look at that. Sheesh. Look at him. He came to play. Yeah, I'll take that first drive every every hole, so. Wow. Dylan, Dylan's beating me right now, which yeah. is tough. I think the hole looked better for you. It looked but better some, for me, somehow but I, the result. I came out of that. See, the results are what matter. Oh, turn, keep turning. You're outside, so I feel like you know, you're able to enjoy nature, enjoy being around friends. A lot of the times I'm playing out there with you know my close friends or even some teammates sometimes. Hey, I can still chip in the bar. It's like active recovery, you know, you're out here walking around, being active. <laughs> like you said, like it's mentally challenging too. So you still get to compete, still get to like tap into that like competitive nature that we have as, as football players. And it just kind of keeps you locked in mentally while also, you know, still being able to have some fun out there. You know, windows closed. <laughs> We're in the red zone. I feel like it hits me all the time, but it definitely hits me uh, a lot on these drives in where, you know, I'm driving, I'm like, oh, wow, I'm going to, you know, NFL practice as a player. Like, 10-year-old me would be, you know, freaking out right now if he knew this. Um, so I definitely still have those, like, pinch myself moments. Um, and I feel like that's what, you know, makes it fun and, and keeps you excited with the game and still wanting to do, you know, great things for the team. Yeah, I feel like um, camp's been off to a good start for me. Um, I feel like for the team as well. You know, it's... I feel like I'm kind of like developing a role even more, building on, you know, the successes of last year. In the end zone, touchdown Titans, Nick Westbrook Aquina. Building trust with, you know, coaches. You know, Nick is, every year he's consistently grown and smart football player, uh, really disciplined, uh, fundamentals. If you can have a poster child with someone who does everything right, that, that's, that's who. And Ryan and the quarterbacks. It's a lot of fun playing with Nick. He's a guy who, who knows what we like to do. He plays our brand of football and he's a utility knife, man. You can put him anywhere on the field. I feel like the biggest thing is just like using my, my physical gifts, you know. A bigger, taller receiver, um, got some speed and just using those to my advantage. Uh, he's making me better, like I said, going against a bigger receiver, you know, guys that can run and, you know, run some routes. So, uh, you know, we kind of just feeding off each other building that mindset that you know some of the top receivers have and just be able to make those contested catches and make plays all over the field. I also have in the back of my mind that I can't like be complacent about it and you know I have a really great opportunity in front of me to be able to make a lot of plays and you know try to be a, a pivotal role on this team and that's kind of like my mindset is build myself to be a more complete player and you know fix something or improve something a little bit um, like every day it's kind of the mindset it's like one step at a time can you say hi he is okay oh sorry okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> he's, you know, man's best friend for sure. One of my best friends out here. Uh, you know, if I have a bad practice, a bad game, he's always there, wagging his tail, smiling at me, loving on me. You sit. Sit. Can you give me five? Good job. Can you ten? Can you give me ten? No? <laughs> We went to this farm where they had him, and it was him, his brother, and his sister, and he was just like a perfect fit. You know, he was loving up on Hannah so much, and she looked at me, and she was like, this is the one, and I couldn't say no to that, so. Come on. You know, usually in the evenings, we'll come out here once it gets a little bit cooler, and he really loves the Frisbee. Yeah, come here, come here. She knows my voice over the phone, it's really impressive. Where if I call her or FaceTime her, he just starts barking and like running towards her, finds her, starts jumping on her. Um, Cause he knows I'm on the other side of the phone. It's just like a nice peaceful getaway to get out here, play with him and just enjoy fresh air and just watch him have a good time. So those were some awesome days at Brentwood because it was almost like two a days, like getting my speed work in, running a lot, and then being able to lock in with Logan start running some routes and just build that chemistry and get back in the offense. And that was just awesome just to be able to get it, get it together with them before the season started um, and start building that chemistry. I've, I've loved this room uh, so far. I feel like everyone's, you know, pretty chill, pretty laid back. Uh, the, the camaraderie is definitely building and, and, and guys are, you can see everybody is like a competitor and like, you know, really wants to make plays. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're super tight in our lockers. We're kind of right by each other. We're always communicating and asking each other questions. Uh, always trying to get better, um, whether it's me asking him or him asking me. Uh, we're really just trying to improve our whole room. So just find a way to take care of it. I'm one of those people who ask him questions also. You know, I'm also one of those people who trying to learn every position and I know he knows every position. I'll get everybody their time to shine. We're developing guys to, to be able to step up in those situations. And, and um, you know, I, I think we have the guys in our group uh, that'll step up and be able to give us what we need to win football games. Just, it's helpful. I feel like, you know, having that chemistry that's already kind of been built up um, and still earning some more trust with that. You know, I, we, I think I've said it before to the media, you know, like confidence is built from repeated achievement. So, the more good plays we make together, the more chemistry and trust there is. Being on this team my first few years and be able to be you know, pretty successful and win some games has been awesome, um, but I feel like there's also that feeling that there's more uh, to go after, and that's just what I'm excited to do is to, to chase that, that perfection.